this is where the wood stove will live. So right now you can see this is a wheel well. Right there is where the wheel comes up through. This is a cabinet to cover the wheel well. So the idea is to take this cabinet out and build a shelf that's about a foot high here. And it'll be 27 inches from this corner over to that corner. So and it'll come out five feet to the door and uh, it'll be about, like I said, foot high. So the plan is, and then the, the stove will live, it'll be a foot off of this wall here from the window and uh, I can get it as far as eight inches, as close as eight inches with single wall pipe here. So the, cor the, chin the stove will be about here. It's a nice little 21 inch by 12 inch stove. And the chimney should go up right about here, the whole way up, straight up. I already have a hole. <laughs> Convenient. Yeah, the plan is then to build a uh, platform with a layer of plywood, a layer of Duroc cement board, and then um, ceramic tiles. And then I'm going to cover this wall with uh, either more Duroc cement board or maybe just sheet metal. Haven't figured it out. And of course, this is all to measurements as supplied by the stove manufacturer and also measurements, EPA measurements. This is my first time ever doing a project like this. I've done a lot of research. I feel uh, I respect fire. I understand, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going into this blindly, but that said, I wouldn't. No, nothing I'm saying here is really, you know, these are, it's meant to be educational. It's not, this is not pure, you know, like legal advice. So uh, if you decide to put your own stove in and you burn your house down, it's your fault, not mine. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Um, but that said, I do feel confident in um, what I've read um, t that this will be safe and, you know, more importantly, it will be nice and toasty and warm in our camper. And we're, I'm really excited to be able to boil water and cook some food and it'll be cozy. Um, the camper's never, uh, it's cozy in the summer, it's a cozy place. But um, it's not like, you know, not in the winter. Today I'm going to rip out this, uh, take out this cabinet and I hope to build most of the, uh, the little, the table, the shelf. So, alright, bye. The frame here. Basically, it's some six by sixes with some two by four legs, a couple two by fours running across its joists. Then there's cemented some three quarter ply just because it was cheap and available. And uh, this is a quarter inch Duroc cement board. And then on top of that are the stones, which we found these stones laying along the road. They were for sale, they were given to us. So these were free, pretty nice. They worked out. See, I just got one that I got to score and break, but otherwise they're pretty good. Um, went with a half quarter inch here. I was going to have half inch, but forgot because I made the box. This is an amateur move, but made the box uh, and put these on the inside. It added two inches to the width of my hearth, and so I forgot about it and then cut the... <laughs> the cement board the wrong shape so uh, I have that means on the walls I have half inch let me show you the walls so what I did was I got some uh, I don't know if you can see them uh, there's one got a one by and uh, one three of them running up here and um, basically just screwed those to the wall and then screwed the cement board to those one bys and then screwed the sheet metal on top of that. So I should be well within EPA specs. Double wall chimney will come up through here. And uh, well, there'll be single wall till, till about here. And then the double wall goes up through. Um, so the non-combustible cement board up here and then the non-combustible metal plus the inch of air. You know, it takes, what, 400 something degrees of, well, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm no, I don't have my stat down, but, uh, would combust at four and some change, I believe, for Fahrenheit. So, um, 
you know, hopefully the fire will be burning somewhere around 400 inside the box, inside the stove, and not behind this wall. That's the plan. So I think between the, and I, you can see I did that down here. This is bent. Behind there is some more cement board. The length of the hearth is actually over EPA standards. The only question mark I have, of course, are the blinds. It will be double wall from about here, and you know, we'll probably keep them always up. And I may actually just take them out of there, just remove them as a fire hazard. And something else I considered when I was doing this is that the, uh, first of all, glass is not considered combustible. It takes a very high temperature to melt glass. And there's two inches actually here. So from here to the stove will be 12 inches. And then I'll have 12 inches out here, of course, because it's air. And then I'm going to do 12 inches from the back wall to the back of the hearth, which is, or back of the stove, which is actually, um, with double wall further than it needs to be. So it's a little, it's actually probably overkill, but you know, I'm not messing around. This is, I don't, I like, the camper may not be, you know, that expensive of a home, but it is my home. And, uh, it has all my personal belongings in it. I just don't feel like my house burning down, so... I've been trying to be as safe as possible. I was using hand tools for the first time. Uh, picked these up at, like, flea markets. This is a, a driver, a drill. Uh, it's just got a regular Phillips in there. And this is a little, this is a drill here that has a little tiny regular old drill bit and this is the first time I've ever actually used these on a project for general purpose you know just driving a screw through some Duroc through some cement board or even into some wood just drilling down plywood or uh, even boards and drilling holes in regular wood these actually are surprisingly easy you know now for really tough jobs the electrical power makes sense because we can't do it but these really speed up the process. They're simple, they're quiet, they work just fine. I've been really impressed. So I just wanted to take a minute there and just, you know, put a plug in for some hand tools. I figured I'd show you the actual stove. So again, sorry about the cars passing. Uh, there shouldn't be too many, but so this was given to me uh, for in exchange for a little bit of work. Uh, you may not be able to see it's the perfect size. It is 21 inches long by 12 and a half wide and uh, I don't know, 25 tall. It's perfect little stove for the hearth. Um, this is a Yotel 602B um, and it's, you can see by looking at it, it's been used. <laughs> it has burned some wood. I thought about painting it black, but my wife is, con and I am too, we're concerned about the toxins that it, uh, you know, as it off gases, as it burns off the, the paint. Not really too into uh, the toxins, so we're going to forego painting it. But, so I've got a little fire going in there, cleaned it up a little bit, didn't need too much. Got a little fire going, just it's been in a basement for a couple years. Figured I'd burn off whatever dust and whatever's in there. Um, just fire it up a little before we put it in the actual camper. So, got a little plate. This is what I'm working on now. This is a stainless steel plate. Pieces I just bought like a 2x4 sheet, cut it, um, cut the hole. This is for the chimney. This, is, this piece is going to be screwed into the ceiling of the camper just as an extra precaution and then this part this hole is going to actually act as the um, this will be the frame this is actually what's going to hold the chimney pipe you know help support it all right I know this has been covered other places but first of all I want to show you there's the stove and the hearth you know for a camper I don't know I think it looks pretty nice my first job ever doing something like this uh, so what I've done was um, had a plumb bob that I hung down here so that it measured for perfect center in the chimney. And um, when I got perfect center, I just marked the 
ceiling. So I'm going to take a drill, drill a hole, and then I've got the center up top. Get the jigsaw and cut her out. All right, so we're running out of daylight. I figured I'd make a quick video. Got the chimney on. There's the cap. A couple uh, double wall stainless steel. Got six feet of that going. Got the flashing on. You can see the collar, the storm collar, and the flashing. This roof, I did not factor in for flimsy aluminum roof that bends. Basically ended up, there's of course a shit ton of uh, silicone under there and ended up, uh, hang on, I'm away for this car. Ended up basically drilling it down. There's like uh, probably 12 or 15 screws around the perimeter. And I got a bunch of bricks on there just as the silicone, the lap sealant dries. And then I've got that sealing tape, four inch, that I'm gonna go around the perimeter of the flashing once the sealant dries, just as an extra layer. Got the sealant on the storm collar. So let's go down, take a look. All right, so, um, there it is. <laughs> got the hearth built there's the stove single wall just you know with the damper and then it goes up here to the double wall there's the aluminum flat the piece of um stainless steel f that i was talking about i'm gonna take this corner screw out and make that a little more taut i don't like how flimsy it is but otherwise it's a little bigger than the stove you know just a little extra protection from combustibles but could have swore when I was planning this that this this was actually a little higher, four or five inches higher than the single wall. As it is now, the double wall is about even with with my protection wall protection here. Uh, I would have liked to have had a, a little, you know, little more, but probably overthinking it. So now it's in. I'm um, waiting for my wife for the first burn to come home. I am a little nervous. I'm going to err on the cautious side and just take it easy and build a small little fire. Nice hot small fire and just see what that's what it does. So there it is. Um, hopefully the next video will be the inaugural burning. Alright, the finished project. Uh, the wood stove is in you can see uh got the plate up there got it going more importantly got a nice fire going burning away and also got my herbs drying under there some mint that my wife picked drying away by the fire and uh She's cozying up as she reads. All right, and some fire bricks. See those? Just a little thermal mass. Keep it nice and warm after the fire goes out. All right, well, um, I hope I've inspired you to stay warm with wood in, in little campers. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I go, I do want to say something. You'll notice the blinds are down not right next to it. Uh, I've got a little thermometer there. It's not even not even on the scale at 100. Barely warm. Um, back here, it's cold. I mean, it's literally, it's cold the whole way down. So, um, I mean, I, I went probably a little overboard with uh, protection. I don't feel bad about it. I'm glad I did it. Better safe than sorry. And I'm not encouraging you to be haphazard if you decide to put a stove in. Be smart. Stick to code. Anyway, again, I hope I inspired you and you stay warm in small spaces using wood.